Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? It's been a week. What have you been up to? How have you been journeying with your self-development? What have you watched? What have you seen that has inspired you this week? What are you grateful for? Okay, can we just take a minute for that? What are you grateful for? Pause the video, write down below what you're grateful for. For those who don't know, my name is Cassandra and I'm on a self-development journey. I'm on a journey of self-discovery. I'm on a journey of self-love. I'm on a journey, okay? And that includes everything from lifestyle, from fashion. That includes... Um, my hair growth i've said before that includes the places that i go okay just to like focus on myself that includes a lot of stuff so yeah oh, my bracelet just scratched me so yeah guys i hope you've paused i hope you've wrote what you're grateful for because i don't want to see three thousand views and two comments okay and if you are and you have and you've been watching my videos or you've watched my videos before and you've come back across me pause and subscribe you have to pause just press subscribe but yeah today's video is all about breakups and like just how you get over breakups and how that process is and listen i told you come in come in come in come in come in come in i've told you i am on this journey okay so i do not have everything figured out okay some of the things i am telling you i wish i did <laughs> some of the things I've, i'm telling you i've done and i'm doing and yeah but obviously why well, i'm at a completely different place in my breakup because it's been over two years now okay so this is not fresh it's not early it's not new this isn't the only breakup i've been through by the way so although this is probably the biggest breakup the breakdown of your marriage I don't know what gets bigger than that but this isn't the first breakup i've been through so i'll be referencing just in general if that makes sense and also a lot of things that i've seen i've watched friends um yeah remember i told you guys i'm like a scholar at life so like i like to watch observe and take things in first things first that introduction out of the way i think a lot of the times when we break up with someone i think our biggest thing is oh my gosh we broke up and now I've lost that person. Someone who I thought I could potentially spend the rest of my life with, someone I had plans with, someone that I sat and just thought, oh, what would happen in the future with us? And I had my own fairy tales and dreams in my mind that I made, and now that person's gone. I've lost my soulmate. I just wanna say that the reality is if they were your soulmate if they were the person that you were supposed to spend the rest of your life with then you'd be spending the rest of your life with them and i know some people are going to be like oh no i don't believe that and blah 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 but i really and truly do believe that i believe that if that was the person that you spend that's supposed to spend the rest of your life with you would have and the fact that they are no longer there doesn't mean that your life is over because it's not and sometimes people will be like you know especially even like with i feel like with marriage breakdowns a lot of times people are like can't it work can't you get back together can't you work things out work things through etc and to be honest with you maybe you can maybe you could but sitting and dwelling on that right now at the point at where you are at the point at where you've broke up or they've broken up with you will be a very silly place to sit wouldn't you say so yourself <laughs> you can comment <laughs> do you get it it would be a very silly place to sit there and be like what if and what if now and when and and have your hopes set in that thing especially when you are the person that has been dumped yeah or the person's broken up with you it would be a very silly place to sit and think oh um we can work it out and if we can if they have said right now that's not what they want does that make sense if they've said to you right now that's not what they want or even if you've said like my therapist would say like when i was going through my breakup with my ex my therapist would be like but you made that this you know like all of us are gonna sometimes backtrack and be like oh like i like I, like you know those days where you feel 
if you're going through it right now, especially, my heart goes out to you. I know that pain. I know it feels like grief. I know it feels like you're losing. I know it feels like you've lost everything. But I'm telling you, two years later, you'll be fine. Okay? You will. You'll be just fine. And, yeah, like I said, my therapist said something. She said, there'll be times where I'd be like, I may have made the biggest mistake of my life. And she'd be like, you made the best decision where you was at that time for you. Okay? So if you're the person that decided that, no, I could, I cannot carry on any longer with this. Okay? It was too toxic. It wasn't what I wanted. It's too whatever it is. And then maybe a couple of weeks later, you're having that thing where all you're focusing on is all the good points. And you forgot about all the negatives. And now you're thinking, oh, if we could just make it work. You made the right decision for you at that time, at that point, and that's okay. You chose you. I wanna give you a round of applause. I hope that went too loud to the camera. But I wanna give you a round of applause because you chose you, you chose yourself, okay? And if two months down the line, three months down the line, four months down the line, five months down the line, it's like, you know, something can or maybe, but the reality is if you left that person or that person has left you, there's a reason. And rushing back in to or with that person is only going to be the exact same thing and exact same reasons why you left in the first place that are going to reoccur again, okay? And I know you're sitting there, if you, this isn't the first time you've broken up and you've gone back and you've gone back and you've tried and you've, okay? Until either you both grow, I'm not going to lie, the same situation is going to happen. And that's what I'm here to talk about today is growing. It's growth. It's now taking a step back and starting to work on yourself, okay? But I know, I know in first instance, all you probably can do is just think about even sometimes just like really beat yourself up you know like really start to like i don't know talk neg negatively about yourself and oh if only i had just and if only i had and if only i and if only and if only we but one thing i do want to say to you again is listen if you knew better you would have done better okay that's it if you knew better if all of us knew better we would have done better okay we would have made sure we did this in our relationship and we would have done that and it may have been the best but if you knew better you would have done better and it's okay it's okay to feel that's one thing i want to say it's okay to feel like i felt <laughs> i felt i felt and i don't know if that is to do with my adhd as well and the fact that i'm an empath and all the rest but there was times where I felt like my life was over. Like I sat there and I felt like, what now? My identity was so wrapped around my ex, my exes, people I've been with all the time. I'd be in a relationship and my identity was wrapped in them. Like I didn't understand how now to stand on my own because I wasn't my own. Okay, I wasn't Cassandra. I was Cassandra and Cassandra and do you get what I mean I, w I never felt like I was my own I always was a person who maybe it's because it's what I realized like I said I spoke about attachment styles again I know a lot of you said please do a video on attachment styles so I will I will the only thing is what I'm conscious of is I'm journeying so as I'm journeying I know my videos are going to change right now we're talking about what's happened okay and we're going to carry on to where i am now and then we're going to journey through but sometimes i'm wary of like i don't want to keep speaking about the past you get what i mean but this video isn't really about the past it's about just something that we go through and i've gone through so and i know a lot of people go through because that is the majority of messages i get on youtube um not youtube on instagram in my dms people ask me about relationships okay so um i can't remember what i was just saying this is adhd bro um what was I just saying? Sometimes, guys, I feel like a teacher. <laughs> like, I'm like, what do I wear? Like, these tops, it's like, the whole outfit's nice, but like, the top, it just looks a bit, hi, I'm a teacher. So, I was talking about the fact of being a fixer, yeah? And, like, trying to help and trying to encourage. And in the trying to help and trying to encourage someone else, your partner, my partner, I felt like I started to lose myself. 
So a lot of the times after the relationship, it was like, who am I? And to be honest, in my last relationship, I think when it is a marriage breakdown, it isn't as simple as just like breaking up. Like, okay, I feel like this, I'm going to break up. It's over time. You feel a certain way over time and over time and over time and over time until eventually you're like, yeah, I can't do this. So from while I was in the marriage, I started to work a lot on myself. And I think that's where I was able to actually step back because I did so much work on myself, could see so much change in myself and felt like the person I was with could only see me for who I was before and also wasn't willing to meet me at the changes that I was making. So yeah, it's like, I know you might have that feeling of like, who am I? Like, but I, like, where is the, like, where does the story go now? Yeah. And I think that's even another great thing to do. I think the first thing I would say is writing down the positives and the negatives, okay? The things you went through in that relationship, the things that you did, okay? Take actual responsibility for yourself. I spoke about that in, like, um, my first video that I put out of recent. I was like, literally, at first you blame. You might be angry or upset. You even, you know, I think we all have that time where we're just like, ah, especially when... Um, maybe you've done the breaking up, you're like, oh gosh, that person was this, that person was that. And then you take a moment to realise, oh my gosh, um, if you're self-aware that is, and if you, if it is that you want to learn from this, heal from this, and go on to something else, and it be beautiful, if that makes sense, a beautiful relationship, then I think, yeah, that self-awareness, that, whoa, I did this wrong, I done that wrong. Maybe even when I first broke up, I went and did this, or I went and did that, or I... Um, set that message or like just aware being aware of the things that you do so that you can learn from it so like yeah writing down the pro like everything you did um in the relationship what you need to work on what you put up with that you don't want to put up with anymore and then what i would say is you don't know where your story's going okay i don't know where my story was gonna go after that i was really i felt like the best way to put it is i felt like i was in a hole I really did. I felt like I was in a hole and I felt like everyone was just looking in and like talking to me, but it was all a blur. Okay. And I felt like, oh my gosh, I, there were so many opinions and voices and, and especially because I was on social media, I put it out on my platform and then a blog post got hold of it and put it up. And then there were so many opinions that it was like, ah! And like, that's literally how I felt. I felt like, oh my God, please. Like, and that's why I'd say after you have um like sat back and you might be feeling like, I don't know, what do I, who am I, where do I want to? I'd say sit down and write, journal. Like, journal every day and just like write how you're feeling. Because it's okay to feel, like it's absolutely okay, and getting it out on paper actually gets it out of you okay so like writing it down how you feel and what i did as well i wrote my story i said all right the way my story is going in my mind at the moment is okay it's not good it's bad it's um i'm not gonna ever recover from this um, things aren't gonna get better um i'm gonna have to like go back to the beginning and go back to scratch and no one's gonna want to hear what i have to say anymore and like my videos like stopped and all that kind of stuff and then i wrote down the story that i wanted for myself and what i wanted to see and the things and what i wanted to go back to i i did my vision board and i didn't do it in january i just did it at the time of where it was of what it is that i want to see for myself and although don't get me wrong like this is between tears and laying in my bed and not knowing and feeling depressed but reading that even though I didn't always feel like it, it was a reminder that this is where I want to go and this is what I want. And again, if I knew better in the first place, I would have done better. And we are here now. And I made the best decision for me at that point. Okay, I want to keep saying that to you. If you're going through it now, if you've been through it, you felt like you made the best decision for you at that point. And if it wasn't your decision, okay, that person felt like they made the best decision, decision for them at that point. And even more so, if it wasn't your decision, I want you to know that, look, whatever it is, whatever happened, we have to forgive ourselves. That's one thing I struggled with the most. You have to forgive yourself. If you're sitting there blaming, oh, oh, oh I what is that going to solve? It's going to absolutely, it's going to solve absolutely nothing. 
you have to forgive yourself. You have to try and remove the shame, remove the guilt that you feel because if you knew better, you would have done better. I just want to give you a hug because <laughs> I know that feeling of like, oh, like I should have and I might do. And even the feeling of I've wasted these years, I've wasted this time, nothing is in vain. That's why I said, write it down, write your lessons, write what you went through, write what you don't want to put up with because you're going to see how many, and as time goes by, talking, I can be your future you, talking to you now two years later, you realise, oh my gosh, like something that I really realised is that I was very, 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 very um, self-sabotaging. Yeah, and that's because of my anxious attachment style. So one thing that I did a lot was I'd always had these expectations, yeah, that I knew can't be met. So it'd be like, all right, my birthday's coming. All right, if they love me, if he loves me, he'll do this, 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 this. And then he might do this, but I'll be like, yeah, but he didn't do that. So it was always like almost chasing my love. Does that make sense? And I feel like I felt so guilty about that in the beginning because I was like, oh, if maybe I was more grateful, then things would have turned out different, okay? And if maybe I, and if, may, if I knew better, I would have, I heard you say it. I know you said it, literally, okay? So writing things down and as time goes by, like I said, journaling, reading, reading back on where you was when the breakup first happened or where you are, now it's beautiful it's like it's gonna it's the days where you feel like it's all a mess that's okay you have to feel you have to feel and you have to go through i was saying that a lot of people were speaking and it was so loud and i think one thing i've learned now and one thing i definitely know is when you're going through something like a breakup it is like grief okay it can actually feel like you've they say it it feels like you've lost it's heartbreak it feels like you've literally lost something someone it feels like even though that person hasn't isn't dead it feels like they're dead that's how it feels to you okay and i know what it is to go through grief like actual grief of um losing a parent to losing a partner i don't know if there's that much difference if i'm honest yeah. one thing i'd say like i said is being around people who fan your flame yeah not being around people who just you know have something negative to say or right now you don't need that honestly you know sometimes people think they're doing you a favor by saying something to you like well you should or maybe if and people think they're doing you a favor when you're going through a breakup especially a long-term relationship etc you are already saying all the things you can say to yourself I think people don't realize that so if you're the friend if you're someone that's watching this and you know someone that's going through a breakup now please you already are beating yourself up. You're saying everything to yourself. So to then have someone come and then say the same thing, it doesn't always make it better, yeah? I feel like at this time, you just need people who are loving on you. Even if in, like, not everyone's gonna, okay, I wanna say, hey, if you're at this point in your relationship, in your breakup that you've gone a bit wild, yeah? You've, you're looking for love in every place. You're looking for it in a, bottle of alcohol you're looking for it in a, in it, whatever it is you're looking for it in yeah you're not gonna find your healing in any of those things okay and i'm not saying don't go out and i'm not saying don't drink alcohol and i'm not saying i'm not saying don't do anything i'm just saying that if you are feel broken hearted and you think you're gonna find what's gonna heal your heart in someone else you won't and then you're gonna be with that someone else and still feel heartbroken and you're gonna be at that club and still feel sad and go home and still cry into your pillow etc so it's not that you can't go out because sometimes you need a distraction sometimes you need something to distract you from your mind and that's okay but i'd say doing things that help you grow and that's why i said in the beginning about growth so that's reading books i read a lot of books to do with heartbreak okay loads of them and not read because i don't have always have time to read but i um audio books yeah i listen to a lot of audio books to do with heartbreak to do with healing and to be honest it was lovely and it was encouraging but it still didn't fix okay and that's why i say time but not just time as in waiting and just sitting there and 
that's time. Like sometimes people are like, yeah, I was out of a relationship for five years. I was out of a relationship for three years. I was out of a late relationship. But what did you do in those years? And that's why we have to be careful about telling people how long or how quick they should get over it and how quick they should go into relationships, etc. Because it's not about time. Because you can be out of a relationship for four or five or six or seven years and not be working on your character and yourself and then go back into that relationship and then realize, oh, I forgot to work on myself. Do you get it? So it's not really the time, it's the growing in that time, the learning, the lessons you learn from your old relationship and what you're doing to actually put those things into practice. So yeah, I'm reading. Um, I watched a lot of podcasts, a lot of podcasts around relationships. And that was just, that was more in the beginning. And then I moved on to like self-love, self-image, like how, how to love yourself, how to do things that, heal your inner child um dealing with things that i've gone through in childhood that were now showing up in my adult life therapy i've been doing therapy for a long time okay i've been doing therapy for about two years now yeah maybe a year and a half like and that's helped me so much i to just identify myself and things that i do if you go to church being around just being around things that lift you lift your spirits um work it like working on yourself like going to the gym eating more healthy um i did that i was kind of uh. <laughs> we'll talk about it in another video but i've kind of uh. but i'm still doing that and i think as well i'm also doing things for me so when i say i went to a festival the other day by myself yay me um i just wanted to do that for myself because I think it's so important to do things with yourself. And I went and I remembered, oh yeah, this is stuff I love to do. I love to do this stuff by myself. Like, not I love to do stuff by myself, because that I don't mind doing it with friends, but it's like, I just felt like I was, I just felt like I was connecting with me. Do you get what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I hope that makes sense, connecting with me. Or I go for walks and just like, allow my thoughts to flow and think and look at nature. I'm very about now, now. So not about, again, like I said, in the, at the time you're probably thinking about tomorrow and how, and especially if we're certain at age, we're thinking, oh, but I'm this age and this is what I'm supposed to do now. And this is where I'm supposed to be now. And this is how it's supposed to go now. But I want you to be here now. Okay, that's why I said, what are we grateful for now? What's going good in our lives now? Not too much focus on tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Because if you focus on tomorrow, you can't enjoy now. And what, what is the beauty of now is there's so much things that you're going to learn now that are going to help you with your tomorrow. Okay, and because I've been through so much in my life, I've realized that these little parts that I would say are in between chapters, okay? Sometimes you're in between a chapter and you feel confused, but just enjoy that in between because those little in betweens are the, it's like, it's like, it's like little doing words. It's like the words in between. It's like those little bits in between make what's coming next so beautiful, okay? And that's why I don't want you to worry too much because when you're your best self and when you're vibrating at your highest level and you're happy and you're radiating joy and peace and all those things, I can't lie to you, you attract everything else. When you are sad and low and vibrate, you're going to attract that. And I think that is one of the biggest things that I can say to you, like literally just enjoy where you are even though it's hard even though it may be painful even though it's beautiful okay because i feel like our most our hardest times remind us when we have our great times how great our good times are do you get what i mean and the lessons in today are what you're gonna need in your next season so chill relax i know i understand i'm here write me a comment I get it, but just take your time, okay? Take your time because the person that is for you is out there. The person that is for you is around, okay? Somewhere. And I think I saw something on Instagram and it was so beautiful. It was like, what if the person that you've just broken up with was, you've got, 
I don't know, one or two more people to go before you meet the love of your life. All right, I know, we don't want to meet one or two more people before the love of our life. But if we see life in a way of, listen, it's okay, sometimes we're going to go through things and then the person and your person and maybe if we learn the lessons that we need to learn we don't have to go through all of that other stuff before we get the person etc maybe if you understand that you stop fretting okay if you knew that the job that you just didn't get is because you're going to hand in a few more cvs and maybe after the fifth cv it's going to be your dream job would you be so sad i don't know so yeah guys um yeah that's just a bit about breakups let me know if you want to know about anything else. I think I've covered most things and um, it will be okay. And I know, like, even with my journey, I'm not where I want to be. I'm nowhere near where I need, but I'm just loving where I am right now. And that's not perfection. That's just taking each day as it comes. So love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next week.